Hello guys, welcome back to Tell We How channel on YouTube. So in this Arduino tutorial, we are going to focus about Arduino Uno with the servo. So we're going to make some simple coding of this two module and also we are going to make the servo in here swinging 100 degree from left to right and then return it from right to left in 180 degree as well. So don't let don't waste our time and let get into the code part okay so now we are inside the coding part so we gonna start it right now so first of all all we have to do is be going to define the servo library inside our code so we're gonna define it as include servo dot h so for this library, the servo.h, you don't actually need to go inside the Arduino IDE and download this servo because once you have installed the Arduino IDE, this servo will all the servo library will automatically install and come or come up with the Arduino IDE. So next on we're going to give the our servo a name. So first of all we're gonna say servo and then we give it a name, for example my servo something like that and then once we have finished giving a name to our servo we're going next into our voice setup so we're gonna set up so we are going to define the pin that the data are about to send from Arduino to a servo so that pin is the pin where the servo and Arduino is connected to each other so I'm going to give it the pin so we're going to say my servo the name the name of our servo dot attach and then the pin so I'm going to define the pin on Arduino you know as pin number 10 and next once we finish we are going to get inside the void loop loop setting so this is the void loop so because we want this servo to spinning 180 degree and returning back so now we are going to define first the integer we're gonna store the value of this integer and then pass it into the servo setting and then allow the integer to set up the angle of the servo. So first of all, we're going to define as e i i integer, and then for we're gonna use four case in here. So we're gonna use four equal to zero. For example, that I'm gonna explain this later on. So now I'm gonna finish it first. For i is equal to zero. I smaller than 180 degree then i plus plus and then inside this my servo dot right dot right is the value of i and then we're gonna start again so this is where it start to swinging from left to right 180 degree and then returning back so this is where it swing from left to right and now we're gonna let it return back from swinging from right to left so for I also wait I think I forgot to delay something so I'm going to delay this so we're going to delay it 1 5 15 nanosecond so in here for I equal to 180 degree and i is bigger than zero then i minus and again my servo dot right i and delay 
15. So what is, what it actually do is that we have the integer in here, the integer i. We have we define the integer i, and then we're going to use the for loop in here. So what it said is that for i is equal to zero, and then in case that i is smaller than 180 degree angle, i gonna be continually plus one amount, plus plus one. For example, i is equal to zero and then i is smaller than 180 degree they find out that i is actually smaller than 180 degree then it plus 1 so it is 1 and then find out again that it is still smaller than 180 degree so it plus another one so it's gonna be 2 and continually plus until it get bigger than 180 so if it is still smaller than 180 degree it's gonna perform this action that it's gonna write the i value so for example i is equal to zero and then smaller than 180 degree so i plus one and then they gonna pass the value one into this right and then it the servo is write the i value as one so it's gonna set it to the first angle first degree angle and then return the i value back again and so i is two i is one and then it's still 180 degree still smaller than 180 degree angle so it's gonna plus another one so it's gonna be a two ang two degree angle so it passed the two degree angle inside i again and then we delay for 15 nanoseconds and then we re redo the process again until it is bigger than 180 degree so every process every time it already plus it will execute the the amount first and then return and then recheck if it is smaller it will continue plus and if it is larger it will stop and continue to this part so this part is also the same as the upper part but just opposite way so once it is one the upper part is bigger than 180 it will stop and then it will continue to this uh, lower part so the lower part said that we're gonna set it we're gonna set the i value equal to 180 degree so if i is bigger than zero then it continue to minus so it minus one every time and execute the the, the value and pass the value in into my servo dot right so my servo dot right is actually a function that set an angle of the servo so for example the i servo is equal to 25 then it means the angle is about 25 degree and then they pass the angle into my servo dot right and then it write a 25 degree inside the servo so it set the angle of the servo to 25 degree so this is the code and this is how it it work it actually work inside the servo and i'm going to save this file as an Arduino file it's a Arduino.eno file and then we will upload this code into our Arduino Uno and test it out okay guys so now inside here we are inside the hardware part so I have compiled and upload the code into our Arduino Uno board in here so here we have the Arduino Uno and also the servo so servo in here we typically have three wire the yellow red and brown so here is something that you have to be noted the brown right here is typically a ground wire where you attach it to ground and the red one is actually a voltage where you attach it to 5 volt on the Arduino Uno and also the yellow the yellow wire in here is actually the signal wire where you send the signal or data or an angle data from Arduino Uno into your servo so now we're going to start the connection and test it out so the yellow wire is attached to this white wire I'm going to plug it into pin number one and then the gray one is actually the voltage where it's attached to red wire on the servo and then this purple one, this purple one is attached to the brown wire where it is a GND, so I'm gonna touch it. Okay, so now we connect it.
and you can see it's swinging 180 degree on the servo so the data is performing the, the Arduino you know performing the data accurately and sending the data into the servo and make it swing 180 degree so I hope this video will help a lot for you guys who consider as a beginner who try to catch up with Arduino and also thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to get even more Arduino tutorial thank you for watching